Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. Ooh, I'm on this uh Shrey Whitfield and Illuminati doing that little one eye sign. But hey, thanks for coming back to Dale Chanel Sport Ace World where we do entertainment celebrity news, okay? All of it is allegedly. We don't know if it's true. It's just thrown out there for the masses to ascertain whether or not what is being displayed to them. Uh, it's true or not. You can believe it. You can talk about it. I mean, it's in magazines. It's in vlogs. It's everywhere. Okay? It's the social media wave crave. So, you can get it in the form of a magazine where you have to read it. Or you can get it in audio form. Or you can get it in video and audio form from YouTubers such as myself. Okay? But I always say, I don't know if it's true or not. But I'm just having an opinion on it. Okay? It's not really gossip in my book. I'm just having an opinion on what is being displayed for me. Okay? It's up to you, the uh, viewers, to make your decision on what I am presenting is true or not. Or what I derive from a direct source is telling the truth or not. Okay, but we're going to be talking about Sheree Whitfield and how she has... I don't know if you look at it as a demotion or you look at it as a promotion or elevation on her part i kind of question it myself too cat i kind of question it myself too because she did come out with mini sheree whitfield she said she was going to come out with a fashion line she by sheree that never uh came into fruition she said she was bringing out some athletic wear uh sports wear for men and women and of course the joggers never appeared okay so i'm really not sure whether we can use her as a good source or not. But from what I hear, Carlos King said it actually happened in real time. It just wasn't caught on film. What I'm going and I'm talking about is something that happened way, way, way back. I think maybe in season three, okay, of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. It was reported that Nene Leakes tried to choke out Kim Zosiak in a Target um, parking lot. A Target shopping center parking lot. And I live in Atlanta. And the one that they were referring to is over there by Lenox Mall. Which is where the affluent, more upscale people hang out. Okay. But everybody go of all walks of life um, to the Lenox Mall or, or in that area. It's by Atlantic Station. Uh, you have to Google it. If you're in Atlanta, you live in Atlanta, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're not from Atlanta, then once you come down here, I mean, a target is a target. It doesn't really matter. It's just those two uh, reality celebrities were out there cutting the food. And that's pretty much basically what was it, the gist of it all. But uh, Sheree has come back on a platform where she called herself not being the bone collector anymore. Is what we title her. She's being a snitch now in my book. And you know what they say, snitches get stitches. That's just on them streets that I run from time to time. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it's old news, but it's being recycled. And I'm wondering, why is it being recycled? Is it because Sheree needs a storyline? Okay. She's, well, she, has, she might be doing both of them. She might be uh, collecting evidence and taking it for it be it. For it to be a part of the storyline, whether it's true or not. You know, she's on the hearsay and talking about what the street's saying. She's good about that. That's why she's the bone collector. She picks up pieces of information and then she takes it at the door of who she feels uh, the infraction came from. And then it just sparks out like fireworks. You know what I'm saying? So, technically, I guess I had to give her two roles to play. Since she's coming back and has nothing to offer us as far as dating a criminal. And from my understanding, he served his time. He's back out on the streets. And he's probably living with Sheree in a Chateau Sheree manner. Okay? But not much of a storyline there. Unless he's going to tell us how they make name tags or car plate tags in prison. Or something to that effect. But what he did, I think, was a white collar crime. So, I'm really not sure what he will offer. And... 
what she will offer us as a storyline. But yep, Sheree is spilling the tea because Andy Cohen is writing a book or somebody's writing it for him. David Quinn, but he's giving him the meat and potatoes of what to put in the book so he can promote it and make money off of it. He's probably doing it under his own publishing company. All right. So that's what we are partaking in. That's uh Sheree's was fiance, boyfriend companion hell i don't know what he was to her but i know he did a crime she took him in and i think he's staying at her residence at this time okay but that ain't none of my business we going on what sheree is supposed to bring back to the show on season 14 because they asked her back i don't know why i know she's not getting a big big paycheck but uh it just is what it is okay so now she's trying to throw salt on um nini leaks as a storyline she's gonna use her this season i'm pretty sure and we may get some counteraction because it is foretold don't know how true it is that nini is supposed to come as a friend of the show uh to film i guess with marlo and some of marlo's scene marlo hampton some of her scenes is going to probably be at the lanithia lounge maybe which would be a good deal because you know it promotes her business give her more business over there and you know, everybody's, you know, hands are getting paid and, and T's are getting crossed and I's are getting dotted. But, um, yeah, we'll hopefully get to see her a few times during this ep- uh, during this season or maybe a couple of episodes. But not really true. Don't hold me to it. This is just what the streets are saying. Okay, but they're rehashing it. So I'm talking about it. And here we go. We have, um, uh... Yeah, Sheree's dropping dime, and like I said, snitches get stitches, you know, when they be telling stuff, they ain't got no business telling that. Right now, Sheree has nothing to really tell us or, or, or offer us at this time, so we have to take what they give us, and we either partake of the show or we don't. You know, it's our choice. It's our hour we'll be losing, but just to see what kind of lies she will bring up. And we have to decide whether it's truth or it's false or truth or is it a myth. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, we already seen Nene and, um, dog, I'm going to call this girl Candy. Um, uh, and shout out to uh, um, Michelle ATLN. Um, she's a good blogging person over there, YouTuber. Um, uh, you probably want to go catch her out. Thank you for letting me use your tag. Um, I'm, uh, you know, I like to recognize people if I'm using some of their stuff, you know, so I don't get in trouble. So, uh, I watched uh, several of her videos and she seemed to be pretty cool to me. So, go on over there and check out. See if she's your she and she's your taste. Okay. And if it is, subscribe to her. And I always tell Adele Chanel 48's world sent you over there. Okay. But, um, uh, yeah, she's a snitch now. Um, uh, Sheree the snitch. Sheree the, uh, snitcher of the sow uh yeah she's got that name um so we're gonna retire the bone collector and put her as the snitch so she's going around here telling people business and trying to put them on the spot i mean we had nene in a grieving bereavement type uh scenario that we thought we would have see her in to have closure with greg on the real housewives of atlanta and for her to go on and do bigger and better things if that's what she chooses to do if she chooses to come back on season 15 as a full-fledged peach holder then I guess that could be uh, a doable thing too if Bravo wanted to bring her back, okay? Out of all the disruption sh- she had brought to um, the show, uh, which she was targeting under um, racism or uh, gender discrimination or something to that effect uh, back in the day. But uh, yeah, and I'm like, I understand why Sheree wants to come and tell on somebody. And we didn't see it on film. You know, like Nene had told Portia. What you made a mistake in, you got it on film. People got you slanging Kenya more down to the ground and holding her real tight. You know, we didn't see you slapping on the face. Now you just got your hands tied up and tangled in her hair. And you just wouldn't let her go. Okay, like we on, we in preschool somewhere and you just, whatever. But one thing I did notice on catching some clips. Sheree, you put your hands on, um... Kim's object in real time. See that picture? You're tugging on her hair. All right? And I'm sure Kim could have had an assault charge against you. You can't put your hands on nobody's hair all willy-nilly. Okay? So you kind of got stuck and caught right there in that taping. Uh, And Nene didn't get caught. 
Okay, like she said, she is smart enough not to not let anything get caught where they can use it against her in the court of law. So she write about that, and she's still write about that. But you, Sheree, you put your hands on her or her hair, which is really her property still. Um, see, there you go again. That was a second one. You twisting her wig around and stuff. She ain't asked you to touch her hair. She did not ask you to touch her hair and get no fleas out of it or nothing. She told you to leave her alone. And she pulled back when you were kind of um, tossing with her hair. Because I was watching that episode. And I'm like, she ain't crazy. She, that's the song chart. But again, she was going in the moment. Thinking she was untouchable. And I'm pretty sure Bravo convinced Kim. Probably paid her a little if she gave her a little perk. Probably that's how she got her show. Uh, to not press charges on it. Uh, Sheree Whitfield at the time of that filming and as well as not pressing charges on NeNe because they had invested some money in NeNe uh, during this period during this episode during that season okay so I'm pretty sure they comped her some kind of way and that did not make the news and usually it don't if people compensating you and you like it and it's royally benefiting you you would drop the charges. You sure will. Okay, got that say money talk bullshit wall. All righty now. Okay, but that's the basis of what we're talking about today on this particular video is how Bone Collector upgraded to Snitch is coming back for the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Sheree Whitfield for season 14. Okay, I wouldn't have wanted that job. But, you know, she wants the limelight, and I guess, hell, this is her third rodeo with them this time. And hopefully they won't bring her back if we get rid of her again, as you, you know, if you catch where I'm going with it. Because she absolutely brings nothing to the show, okay? She meant let her ex-husband make a fool out of her on this show. And he was hilarious, okay? I'd rather have seen him than her. Because he, he made her look all kinds of ugly. She was making ugly faces. Her hair was looking ugly one time. Um, I think the last time she taped with him, cause he was driving her crazy, and she didn't know how to handle it. And I was like, "Oh my God, get off the camera, honey, cause you you're not looking good." And she's a pretty woman, beautiful woman, but he was making her look all kinds of crazy and hellacious. Okay, I was like, "Oh Lord, how did you stick with him in the marriage and had two kids?" But I understand, but it just is what it is. I guess fame, fortune, and want to be a part of the limelight the elite you'll do anything okay and be with anybody all right but going to justin s he's from reality t that's where we're getting our sources from to do to be able to do this video and again everything is allegedly over here that i talk about it's just my opinion when i read something sometimes i need to come to my youtube family and say did y'all hear this mess that was going on out here don't know if it's true or not but do you see what they trying to tell us about this um subpar show Child, please. Anyway, he titled it Nene Leaks Allegedly Tries or Tried to Choke Kim Zoziak Beerman in a Target parking lot while filming on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Of course, this is season three, I believe. Way, 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 way back when. And again, why they are bringing this back up? Because they damn sure ain't bringing Carlos, Carlos King back as no executive producer or anything as a producer on the show. But maybe they're trying to give um, a bone collector a snitch or uh, a leg up to have a storyline. That's the only thing I can see out of this. Because I'll be still questioning why. Why, why, why? We regurgitating old news, all right? Because they had it when it was happening, but they really didn't play it up. So I am kind of confused why they bring it up now other than to give sheree a platform and some legs to stand on to be able to do what she's going to be doing for season 14 okay being a snitch but let's go on to the article it says it's safe to say that nene leaks and kim zozek beerman have had the most dynamic feud in the history of the real housewives the early seasons of the real housewives of atlanta were characterized by their back and forth squabbling every time it seemed like their friendship could move into a good place Something would jeopardize it, and the cycle of shade would start over again. But according to a story in a new book, Not All Diamonds and Rosé, which is Andy Cohen is putting out, the inside story of the Real Housewives from the people who lived it, an off-camera physical altercation may have created a massive rip between the two frenemies, meaning Kim 
and Nene. Written by David Quinn, the latest publication from Andy Cohen's book in print is loaded with bombshell revelations about the Housewives universe. Although Kim and Nene both declined to participate in the interviews for the book, Shrey Whitfield volunteered to throw shade and spill tea about her fellow OG classmates. Okay. And of course she's giving her so called truth from her opinion or what she says she saw. Okay, but none of it went into the court of law. None of it was filed as a harassment of some kind. So why or oh why I'm asking we're bringing this back up, okay? Because then we can include from what you can see on um, audio, not audio, but visual, who is putting their hands on who? It seems like Sheree putting her hands on Kim Zosette. That's a no-no, okay? But they're trying to get NeNe involved in all of this. And NeNe has no video footage, no audio footage of doing such a thing. But we do see, as prime example, where it can be submitted in the court of law, that Sheree Whitfield had her hands on Kim Zosette. Okay, but that's neither here nor there. Not in this latest article. We're going to go on right back now. As initially reported by People, one of the books, Most Shocking Real Housewives of Atlanta Tales, describes a physical altercation between Nene and Kim that happened while they were filming season two. Okay, I said three, but it was season two. The She by Sheree CEO, that's her, claims to have witnessed at first hand. Plus, the story is backed up by veteran reality television producer Carlos King, which we know he's not on the show no more who has been on the front lines of some of the most notorious reality TV moments in history. The arguments between Kim and Nene were always next level. In season two, they went back and forth fighting and making up, Carlos says in the book. Then there was an incident that happened off camera where Nene allegedly tried to choke Kim in a Target parking lot. Sheree says that she was there in the tar Target parking lot and saw everything go down. According to Sheree, they were at Atlantic Station. Kim and Nene were waiting to film a scene, shopping at a boutique, but Nene was upset because Kim had supposedly been talking about her behind her back and the A list awards. Okay, then Sheree claims that Nene went to confront Kim and allegedly started to choke her. They started arguing and Nene went for Kim's neck and was choking her. She lunged at her twice. Kim ended up calling the police but dropped the charges. The cameras were inside the store so they missed the whole thing. Now this whole story is wild and the fact that they didn't catch it on camera is truly maddening. However, this scenario sounds a whole lot like Portia Williams was talking about a few years ago at the season 8 Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. Portia was in the hot seat for getting into a physical altercation with a friend outside of the Christmas theme finale party. This was the weird Kim Field season where Portia had also had a physical encounter with Cynthia Bailey during a boat ride. So Nene preached to Portia about her behavior urging her to stop putting her paws on other people. Nene started by saying, I have been here the longest and nobody has been criticized more than I. She continued to talk about how no matter how much criticism she receives, there's a line that she doesn't cross. As long as you sit here and be in front of the camera, you're going to be judged. Amen on that, Nene. Amen on that. And I've not touched anybody, Nene proudly proclaimed. But Portia immediately retorted, but didn't you choke somebody? Hun, and looking back on Nene's response, it's interesting, she said. Where was that? Have you seen any footage of it? Now, see, it's use your brain, Nene continued. Well, first of all, if I had choked somebody, I bet you I was smart enough not to have it on camera. But you won't. But you wasn't. That's what she's uh, talking about to Portia. Meanwhile, over the opposite couch, Sheree was cracking up, laughing, amused by the entire exchange. It was almost as if she knew exactly what Nene and Portia were referring to. And Nene got it on the, she hit the nail on the uh, head. If you're going to do something, uh, don't have any evidence of doing it. Because it would be hard to prove in a court of law. No evidence, no conviction. That's all. <laughs> But see, you see the role that they have Sheree playing. 
And I mean, like, oh, I guess you're destitute for money. I mean, whatever happened to just going to get a nine to five? Okay. Is that too bad to do? I mean, it's honest work. Okay. Or what happened to you maybe being a model? Weren't you taking pictures and photos trying to um, do something like that, Sheree? I mean, I don't understand why you want to come on a show, degrade yourself badly, and they put you in the role of being a snitch this time. Because before that, you were the bone collector. You were collecting evidence and putting it at people's door that uh could not defend themselves pretty much but you're gonna tell of the horrible things that this person has said about you okay i don't get it i don't understand it but i'm not in the entertainment industry where i want to make money um having somebody tell me what to do to get ratings up okay mm -mm. no way no lay okay but that's all i have for the video y'all y'all saw how i digested it i brought it to you all had to Make sure y'all understood where I was going with it, how I was going with it. And if you don't, rewatch it again. Maybe you'll catch on. I'm not sure. But anyway, I did my best. But get in those comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about the whole thing of uh, Sheree coming back, starting beef with two people that ain't on the show no more. Just to give her a storyline. And even if it bring it, it's brought up when Nene do tape allegedly for her too. Uh, or for scenes she's gonna have in the 14th season, um, then so be it, I guess, because Nini can definitely handle herself and probably won't be sharing any space or uh, interactions with Sheree Whitfield anyway, because Sheree, uh, Sheree Whitfield is eating off her name, okay? So it's just heels, what it is, and her scenarios that she played going down the line. But um, if y'all like it, love it, and y'all want more of my videos, hey, always hit that notification bell button. Or you can just catch me whenever you can catch me when you got time to look at me. And share that girl stuff. That girl stuff is me. Share my videos out there. Share, 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 share. Sharing is caring. And like them as well. And I will see y'all in the next video. Goodbye. You saying goodbye too with your little toy.